We're living in a day and age where robots basically can do anything for you. I don't even have to clean a pool anymore because I got the Ybot S2 Solar at work for me right now, cleaning this very pool right here. I've been really into finding out more about autonomous solutions for everyday household chores. We all know and are familiar with things like robot vacuum cleaners that'll pick up your kids' Cheetos from the floor. We recently started dabbling in uh, checking out robot lawnmowers, and now we got the Ybot S2 right here cleaning the pool. The real question is, where does this stop? What is the next thing that a robot's gonna take over in our personal daily maintenance tasks? So we're gonna get one that's gonna like give us a bath? Tyler, what do you want? Scrub a dough. You want a robot to scrub you up? And this video is sponsored by Ybot for us to show you what the S2 and its solar setup is capable of. But excuse me, uh, my pool cleaner's here. So let's uh, let's go see what he has to say. Well, Ybotics has been in the industry for quite some time. They have over a hundred patents in various different applications to make sure that they have a robot pool cleaner that's gonna make sure that your little swim area is as clean as it can possibly be. So Ybot stands for water, you, and a robot. And that way you don't actually have to make sure that uh, your pool's clean because it'll do it for you. And one of the beautiful things about this particular one is its solar functionality. So they do sell the S2 by itself where you can just regularly charge it with a DC charger and you can get it fully up to charge in three hours or you get the solar one where you can actually use the power of the sun on this brutal hot Pittsburgh day to make sure your pool is autonomously making sure it's all cleaned up. So one of the neat things here is that both the S2 has a battery, which is gonna recharge once it docks on the solar setup, which has its own battery. So even if you're cleaning during the middle of the day, you're not actually losing the power of the sun because this whole solar setup is keeping some of that juice ready to go once it finally docks. And it's pretty impressive that Ybotics has created the first solar powered robotic pool cleaner to make sure that all of the gunk and debris is out of the water. And it's rated for basically any pool that a regular person would have. It can cover up to 3,200 square feet on a single charge for roughly two and a half hours of runtime. The shape of your pool doesn't matter either. You can use a rectangular one like we have here. It can handle a kidney shaped pool, a round pool, a random shaped pool or whatever have you because it has an intelligent mapping system that uses AI with its gyroscopic ultrasonic infrared and depth sensing, it'll map your pool up to depths of 9.8 feet to make sure that, again, any traditional residential pool is covered by the S2. And one of the things that really bothers me when it comes to a lot of autonomous robotic solutions in terms of their usability is who cleans the vacuum cleaner, right? Like if your floor cleaner is getting dirty all the time, are you really saving that much time when you have to clean the trap out every so often? Well, with the Ybot S2, it actually has a dual filtration system. You have 180 micrometers of its traditional filter so that it can filter out things like twigs, leaves, sand, pebbles, and even the crusty Cheetos your kids might dump into the pool or algae. And then on top of that, it has an ultra fine sponge as a second layer filtration system that has 40 PPI to make sure again, that the cleaner itself is staying clean. So you clean out the filter to make sure that it's ready to go, but it's not a regular all the time maintenance thing like I had with some of my uh, vacuum cleaners that, oh man, that we've come a long way in terms of robotic assistants that handle your daily household chores. So the S2 has various different modes for cleaning your pool. It can clean the side, the wall of the pool. It can also clean the floor. It can also do what's known as the water line, which is quite high right now, but that'll mean that it'll just stay along the water line cleaning what's ever at the top right here. Or It'll just do all of it. It'll do a full traditional pool cleaning. It even has an eco mode or a turbo mode. But you can even hear right now, as it's at the water line, it's not very loud. Hey buddy. And you can see it's adhering to the side of the pool very well. And it can handle essentially every type of residential pool siding that you can think of. Whether that's vinyl, mosaic tile, concrete, pebble, fiberglass, or ceramic. It can adhere to most surfaces with its suction. So whether it's the shape of the pool, the size of the traditional residential pool, or even the material that it's going up alongside, the Ybot S2 is actually gonna take care of that. And then when it gets down to roughly 20% battery left on the S2, it'll just 
intelligently return home to get its charging on the S2 solar setup. But let's say you got some friends coming over and you uh, forgot to run the S2. No, you did it because it has automatic scheduling to make sure that it's ready to go for when you have friends over for your next pool party. Or let's say a storm rolls in right after it's scheduled cleaning and then there's some dirt at the bottom of the pool. It has manual control so that you can actually get to the various different problem areas in the pool, or it can even do zone cleaning to clean two meters around where the S2 is currently located. So you have multiple different options in terms of making sure your pool is clean. And then it's traditional setup. It has six different patterns that it can go in for the cleaning. You've got star, you've got cross, you've got S, you got H, you got Y and Z patterns. So kind of like a lawnmower, you can get various different patterns of making sure that your pool is actually clean. And with its intelligent algorithm, it's gonna make sure that whether it's sand or all the various different things that can fall into a pool, those are cleaned up. And in case you need to get your pool cleaning done quickly, it's actually got a little bit of speed built into it. 33 feet a minute for covering that roughly 3,200 square feet pool coverage that it does have. And with its suction system, this bad boy can climb stairs. Now this pool that we're currently in only has the drop-in stairs. The actual slope of the pool is just straight down and smooth, so we can't demonstrate that for you, but based on how it's handling this wall, I see no way that it couldn't handle stairs. So the solar station, it actually just clips right to the side of the pool, and it's a one-click solution solution, whether that's for sending it home as I'm going to have it return or for even getting it started with the play button that it has right there. So a little S-E, two-E over there is going to S-2-E. Ratatouille. Yeah. Rata Stewie. Oh. Stewie, S2E. Stewie. So Stewie's making his way back to the solar charging station. And one of the reasons I am so excited for this entire Ybot S2 solar setup is because I'm planning a move back to South Africa. And the house that we have picked up actually does have an in-ground pool that we're excited to use. But one of the common uh, trickinesses with South Africa is its load shedding where they have rolling blackouts because of lack of power and being able to use a solar setup for cleaning the pool would mean that I actually don't have to depend on the grid for making sure that my pool is ready to go for whether that's my family or having a pool party or anything like that. And there we got Stewie returning to base, the Ybot S2 making its way to the solar dock where it's gonna make sure it's charged and ready to go for the next cleaning, whether that's the next scheduled cleaning or again, any of the manual setups that we have. And in case you want a little bit more than just cleaning the floor or the walls of the pool, Ybot also does sell a skimmer that you can purchase as well so that you can make sure the top layer of the pool is also clean and that you don't have uh, dead moths floating <laughs> at the top of it. That guy's not gonna sink, so the S2 cannot get that guy. <laughs> That's fine. That's that's why you still have the, the, the pool net to, to clear a few things out or you get the Ybot skimmer.